Welcome to Cannabis School. I'm your host, Jesse Angelus. And I'm Brandon Elder. And we're here to talk to you about everything pertaining to cannabis, from vape, flower, edibles, strains, and everything in between. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Another Tuesday. Another Tuesday. Happy mm. Tuesday. Are you as elevated as we are? We're pretty elevated. Um, this is a good strain. It's not the strain that we're reviewing, but it's a good strain. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great strain. It is definitely not the one we're reviewing today. No, but it is perfect for how we're going to be able to review this because, Brandon, what are we talking about today? Oh my gosh. One of my favorite sativa strains. It's strawberry shortcake. Mm. You mm. know, I'm, I'm, I'm indifferent on it, but uh, I know you Indifferent? Like this one. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, anything. Well, what's the lineage of this? Yeah, so this is a Juliet crossed with strawberry diesel. It's made by Dark Horse Genetics. Mm. So anything with strawberry makes me cough like, like there's no tomorrow. This one did make me cough, but it wasn't as harsh as like, Obviously, strawberry cough. Well, and it, it was in a vape form, so let's be honest about that one. We we tried this in a vape form, so it's totally different from the actual flower. But it was, still was. It's great. Fantastic. It's just the first part. Like it's so rough for me. Mm, it I just hit you in the throat. Yeah, I, it was so pretty bad. sweet to me. I know it was definitely sweet, but then that cough just keeps coming. It's mm. like, almost like an I don't know what it is the terpenes in it or whatever that it's just within my CB2 receptors. Osamine is the most commonly found terpene in, in, in strawberry, in strawberry shortcake. shortcake. Yeah. 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 So. But, I mean, it's really, it's pretty good. It's really like when the onset comes on. Such a happy, euphoric, just relaxing, making everything melt away kind of strain for a sativa for me. Yeah. It's Be a, it's, it's a definitely, I don't give a shit strain. Yeah. Cause as you know, I'm normally a pretty chill person. Unless. Until I'm in a car. Yeah. If I'm inside a car, I'm just looking at all the people around me going, God, you're a horrible driver. You're not paying <laughs> attention. What the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to honk someone's horn if I'm right. sitting in the passenger seat. Like, because I'm annoyed at the drivers. And So for me, this is my, hey, I'm riding in the car strain. I'm going to puff on strawberry shortcake. I'm not going to care. Yeah. I'm going to be just genuinely enjoying the experience. And that's tough for me to do in a car at all. Yeah, it definitely can be. It can, and I know, I mean, I've I've driven with him places. <laughs> yeah. and, I mean, he is so cool and chill and like, yeah, that kind of sucks, but oh well. Like somebody could have been murdered, you know, like by us going, that's pretty tragic. And I mean, you know, that, that does suck and I'm. I feel bad for his family. I really do. Well, we should leave. And then trying to get out of the parking, like, fucking get out of the way. What the hell is wrong with you? Like, that's that's the way he feels. But, you know, it, when we're- bad. Yeah, it is. But I mean, it's just it's one of those things, right? It's one of those things. But I know my weaknesses. Yeah. But yeah, he talked about that. that. He, he was on a ride. His, his girlfriend was driving the car. And, you know, explain it. Yeah. I just puff on my pen and literally- where I normally would be frustrated, irritated, like wanting to flip someone off, honk the horn. I just chilled. I literally just enjoyed the moment. Did and you let people in if they wanted to get in? Yeah, like, well, I didn't, but she did. <laughs> like, you know? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, but, <laughs> because I'm just imagining you be driving. Oh, that. man. No, but it was just such a enjoyable experience for me. And as a sativa, like, I'm indifferent. Sativas don't bother me at all, but it's not yeah. usually my first go-to thing. No. And this one, it was like, oh, yeah, no, I'm going anywhere where there's a lot of people or something. I'm just going to puff on this. Yeah. And it is, like, it's used for depression, PTSD, oh, yeah. stress, um, ADHD, fatigue, and mood swings. So, yeah, it, I mean, that makes sense. It definitely... I feel like any place that I would have mood swings is in the car. and Yeah, totally. And so, yeah, it definitely just helped mellow me right out. I would say with the strain as well, one thing to kind of keep in mind, if you are a pretty consistent indica consumer, 
Uh, you want to make sure that you're easing into this one. This one is pretty fast acting. And, uh, you know, for my wife, she it, likes indica because anything too fast for her, and I'm not saying that, you know, sativa is like caffeine, but it kind of is in certain aspects. When using this one, it can kind of put you into a panic state if you are not very well versed with sativa strains in your system. And it can vary from person to person, but that's that's some of the things that I've seen. And I've asked other people, they like, yeah, I can't touch that because it makes me really anxious. And I go, oh, so you like Indica quite a bit. Like, yeah, that's all I smoke. I'm like, oh, oh makes sense. See, most of those I am usually wondering if it's a specific terpene that does it because um, a lot of the more anxious ones, I'm like, hmm, is it like alpha pining that you notice that that happens? And they're like, I don't know. Oh, well, you should look for strains that see like alpha pining is more commonly prevalent to cause anxiety. Right. So if you're looking for strains that maybe don't have that, you might still find a good sativa for productivity, focus, whatever, as long as you're understanding like, hey, this specific terpene is what's causing this in me. Right. Um, Because yeah, even like, I don't do a ton of sativas. I still, I still do, but I don't do them in the, in the amount that I do indica. Like, if I have sativas, maybe I have like a quarter ounce of a sativa versus a full ounce of a uh, indica based. One. Yeah, well, absolutely. Just absolutely because of, of my use. Yeah, I think that is very dependent on on that person. But like you said, a lot of people just know, hey, these don't go well with me, and so I don't, I stay away from them. But yeah, and that, I mean that goes towards the the THC levels in there. Like, what are the THC levels in this strain? It's mild. It's like between 15 and 23. See, that they, that's why percentages don't really matter for those of you who are like, I'm going bargain bin, I'm getting the cheapest shit with the highest amount of THC. Yeah, it, it doesn't necessarily matter. No, and it's where you want to go, right? If your goal is to get numb, I, I get that. Go for a couch lock strained. I still think you find that with like more terpenes, maybe a decent um, THC percentage, but... Some of the best experiences I've had have been between 15 and 19%. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would completely agree with that. Granted, some of the others have been 28 to 34%, <laughs> but well, I still have found very great experiences in those mid high teen range. Right. I mean, it's the same with like, you know, Bubba Kush. Bubba Kush is high percentage mm -hmm. THC, and that put me into where I was already emotionally. And, and physically I was at this breaking point that pushed me over the edge. I couldn't consume cannabis for a full month. Yeah. It was, it was, tough. It was really tough and it, it was hard. I, I couldn't have caffeine. I still can't have a lot of caffeine, like very micro amounts of caffeine to this day. But I like that part of this strain because it's, it's definitely like, this is a strain that I used going to the gym. And that's one mm. of the things that I look for is because you are going to experience an elevated heart rate. And that's kind of around the ideas of why people who consistently use cannabis have a lower BMI. Yeah. Um, this one, you probably notice it in the flavor with the coughing mm -hmm. and that too. Did you get diesel notes? I did. Yeah. I totally I did. I really like that in a sativa. I love diesel -y tones. Really? Oh, yeah. That's funny. Something about that. I'm okay with cheesy, them. I love. Cheesy, I, I, I love. I love cheesy. That's when you're talking about the piss mm -hmm. strains have a very cheesy. Yeah, the amount. ammonia. And Jack yeah. Herrera. Jack Herrera has a mm -hmm. little bit of cheesiness to it. So, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Something about cheese and at least with like a good sativa. That and I like just, them skunky too, not oh. necessarily minty though. Like those ones are, yeah, it just, just it depends. depends on the strain, yeah. Just in the moment, sometimes I feel like they smell better than other times, and maybe it's just my body going, No, you want to smoke this one, like go to that one, but you know, follow your nose, yeah, definitely follow your nose. Those chirpings that they're. They're speaking to you. I mean, you got to think about that. This plant is speaking to you and trying to pair off with you. That's why it's important if you get flower to be able to actually try to figure out the notes that you're picking up, right? Not just the skunky because, yeah, that's pretty common, but it starts to change on you the more that you start 
getting into it. I mean, you don't have to be a connoisseur, you know, <laughs> pinky up when you smoke your joint. Is that how you smoke your joints? Mm. With a monocle. <laughs> Indubitably, good <laughs> sir. Yeah, I'll just use a Peter Griffin. Ah, uh, yeah, that, this is uh, the best cannabis I'd ever smoke. But it, I don't know, man, it is such a, I don't know, it's such a versatile strain. Yeah. It's used for, um, like, it's a very social, creative, yeah. Oh, yeah. very, like, euphoric strain. It was a very relaxing, like, my body, I just felt super relaxed it took away a lot of my pain yeah which was for a sativa dominant one that was a little bit more surprising to me yeah it, it definitely was and and that's the cool part of it. that's why i liked it using the gym uh, it allowed me to be able to push past maybe an area where i would i normally would give up and i've, I've tested it i've gone to the gym without that i don't take any type of supplements no pre-workouts and I go and uh, I'm looking for a sativa to be able to bring me to this right place where I can go work out, push past a little bit more pain, but I really get this amazing experience where I leave feeling so relaxed from a gym as opposed to really tense, which is how I used to feel. And so I, I don't know, this is just, it's, it's a great way to connect with yourself. This strain is an awesome connection, both mind and body. Yeah, it really helped me get outside of my pain and outside of any stress that I had to just be me yeah. in that moment, which is nice because I feel like a lot of the times we are so caught up in life that we just, we forget to be ourselves. Absolutely. And and it's easy to, why not? I mean, how is it not, you know, from all the stressors from if you're, you know, worried about what somebody said on you on Facebook. I mean, I'm not going to hate on you. Sometimes, you know, we get so sensitive. Somebody says something there and it, it affects you, right? I mean, that's not me. That's not you. No, <laughs> stop caring. I long time definitely ago. don't give a shit. And, uh, but yeah, it doesn't matter what's going on. It allows you to be able to step outside yourself and just kind of let you collect. Yeah. But, but, or, or up your energetic, you yeah. can do oh, things. Yeah. I was really, surprised how much I enjoyed this one. I wasn't expecting to like it that much. Um, for a sativa, it was like, okay, well, I'm sure it'll be fine. And I started puffing on it. And I was like, oh my God, I love this strain. And it was great for productivity, for work. Like right. it's a very happy feeling strain. Oh yeah. It's, it is, that's probably the best way to summarize it yeah. is this is a happy strain. So if you've been feeling winter blues, you know, getting depressed, a little down, maybe try some strawberry shortcake. Yeah, stack it with a walk during the daytime. Oh, yeah. Get that vitamin D in you and then also getting this, you know, vitamin shortcake in you. You're, you're going to mm -hmm. be feeling... Vitamins T, H, and C. Yeah, absolutely. Take those all through, all four together and you're going to have a great day and... It really is. And that's the great part about it is that after it is subsided and it, and it, it stays for with you for a while, even after it subsided, you still feel very positive. Oh, yeah. I didn't get munchy at all with this strain, though. Nope. Like, at all. And that's a good thing. I, I like those strains. It's it's like the strain we smoked before we, we started recording. That's, that's a very similar type of strain. You don't... Yeah, no don't munchies, munchies. It's totally fine. So... Definitely, if you're watching, and that's why I, I typically, and this is just my hypothesis, is that sativa strains are really great for dieting. Um, if, if you're trying to watch what you're eating over there, I mean, I used to be 40 pounds heavier than I am now, and I feel fantastic. And people ask, like, how are you being able to stay so thin? I'm like, honestly, I mean, I eat garbage every once in a while, but it just... Yeah, I eat pretty healthy for the most part, but yeah. then I just, I have these, like, bags of snacks and that that sometimes i'll sit down with i'm like damn it yeah if you get a right strain in you you're gonna finish off that whole fucking bag oh i know it's terrible because i'm to the point that i'm not looking at like i'm looking at processed sugars as a whole and i'm also looking at damn it this is like this dye and this dye like that's not good for me either yeah, i shouldn't yeah, even yeah. be having this shit and so like it's bad i know it's not great for me to eat a lot of shit but you know. Well, you know that difference. I mean, you're making home cooked meals compared to getting processed shit. Oh, it's and, so different. Oh, I mean, I, I look at it with my family, right? You know, the nights that we eat processed stuff, like they're all over the place. But if I, I create a, a really good home cooked meal, dude, everybody 
is quiet. They're just eating. They feel better. They're nicer to each other later on. So, you know, it's, it's the same, I would say, when using types of uh, any type of product that you're using for an altered state of consciousness, such as cannabis. So if you're using cannabis, that, that it actually kind of helps out with making those choices. I would always recommend that somebody use cannabis before they use alcohol, uh, just for the simple fact of not just the health problems, but it, al alcohol just doesn't take you to the place that cannabis can. No, my most oppressive moments, some of the worst decisions I've ever made in my life, like circle around alcohol. Yeah. And utilizing cannabis more, I have a, like way less desire to even touch alcohol as a whole because the experience now, I don't like. Yeah. I, I don't enjoy the feeling that comes with that. When I can feel uplifted, happy, like pain-free, less stressed, depressed, and I can actually still think about all the shit that is going on and get rid of that versus not thinking about stuff, drinking to forget something, and then yeah. it still comes back anyway along with the hangover and all the decisions that you made. Well, and that's a great way to be able to meet with your own self. This is a very introspective strain if you allow it. Um, you know, allow yourself to be, as Brandon says, just allow yourself to be bored and focus on like, look, I, I need to get through this and what am I not seeing and what am I not doing um, to be able to put myself in a better state? Very introspective. So it's great. Um, I don't know, just all around. I, I don't know, like you said, there's no real foods I would recommend with it. Yeah. You, you've looked at any reviews? Oh yeah. Um, one that said almost the perfect buzz for all day smoking. Potent, clear-headed buzz, uplifting, a slight bit of energizing, but no excess jittery feeling. The aroma definitely has a nice berry hint. Overall, great weed, man. Mm, I would, it, I would concur. Yeah. Um, just a great overall experience. So, you know, winter blues or just sitting in the passenger seat and you're kind of a little bitch. Take some hits of strawberry shortcake. I know it helped me. So <laughs> that's awesome. Well, hey everybody, thank you so much again for coming here, listening to the show. Uh, two things we want to ask you: one, leave a review. Leaving a review is one of the best ways to help us get this out there. We're still number one on Apple and Spotify. Uh, you put cannabis in there, you're going to see our our podcast at the very top, and it's because of you. Yeah. Blows our mind still, but we love you guys and we appreciate the hell out of you. Yeah. And also our Patreon absolutely helps us to be able to continue creating the content right now that we create for you. And we do it all for you guys. So we ask for help. Every penny counts. Yeah. We appreciate it. If you can, even a penny, go ahead and donate yeah. on Patreon. The link's down below. All right, guys. Take care.